drivers behind the lines. In three, two, one, go! All right. Last time we were here, Red Alliance won. Let's see if they take it or if Blue Alliance pulls out a victory. It's gonna be a little hard now as Red Alliance already started their pile driving of cargo on the upper hub. As it comes out of autonomous period, Blue Alliance hold the advantage actually. 34 points to 30. Let's see if they can keep it against the Red Alliance. We could get an upset on the tiebreaker next. 254, spinning. Robotic Eagles gets two shots in. They're in order 19. Trying to play defense against Robotic Eagles, but Robotic Eagles still getting those shots in. Citrus Circus racing around the field despite some blue defense. Getting those shots in, bringing Red back into play. They are in the lead, 66 to 46. Easy and Citrus racing around the field past their defense. That's the Blue Lines' defense, rather. Getting those shots in. The upper hub. 82-62 cannot keep up with either 254 or Citrus Circuits. And they are too quick with their, with their shooters and their drive trains. QLS tech support with a minute left in the match is already going for the second level run, getting ahead of the game, as it were. It's easy getting a couple last shots in. As with a minute left in the match, Red Alliance still holds a hefty lead. Almost 30 points over the Blue Alliance, 96 to 68. Tech support on the third level rung already, looking to go for the traversal rung. Oh, they fall, but they still have time to get back up on their wheels and get on the traversal rung. Let's see if they can do it in 30 seconds as we enter the end game period. 54-19. Lashing on the second level rung. They're going into a wreck competition with tech support. Let's see. Oh, a Blue Alliance robot has dropped their scaler. That is a problem. That means they will have a very difficult time getting on the traversal rung. Let's see if they can make it. 254, latching on the traversal rung. Ugh. And we have your final scores. The Red Alliance wins with a score of 139.